Do you like using check marks when something is complete? Do you sometimes use the Wingdings font for check marks? Try this instead Conditional Formatting Icon Sets. In this video, I am going to use a check mark from the Conditional Formatting Icon Sets. Let's take a look at this simple task list. I want to make a more visually appealing check mark instead of using this yes or no. Here's an important fact to know. The icon sets work with numbers and not text. So the first thing I need to do is change my yeses and noes to a number. And in this case, I like using a simple one for yes and zero for no. So I'm going to go through and change all my yeses to one and my noes to zero. If you had a lot to change, you could simply use the Find and Replace to make that a little quicker. Now I'm going to leave a couple of yeses and noes so you can actually see what's going to happen. Okay, now it's time to apply my conditional formatting. The first thing I'm going to do is select the range that I want to apply the conditional formatting to. In this example, it's B2 through B11. On the Home tab, I'm going to click on Conditional Formatting, Icon Sets, and I'm going to choose the one with the check mark and the X. All right, I have the icons, but that's not quite what I'm going for. I want to hide the cell's values because having those ones and zeros now looks kind of silly. So I'm going to go back up to my conditional formatting. But first I want to make sure that I'm clicked somewhere within my range. Conditional formatting, manage rules. Here's the rule I just created and now I want to edit this rule. Notice here I can show icon only, so I'm going to put a check mark there, click OK, and then OK again. And now I only have the check marks or the X's if it's not complete. Now remember I had this yes and no, and this was still text. So as soon as I change this yes to a number, which was 1 for complete, and the no to 0 for not complete, then it automatically changes to my icon sets. Here is a tip. Do you print your list? Let's change the red X to an empty circle for those tasks that are not complete. The empty circle provides a spot which you can actually write in a check mark if you were to print this list out. Let me show you. Again, let's go back and edit this rule. So I want to make sure that I'm clicked within the range that has my conditional formatting. Conditional formatting from my Home tab. Manage Rules. Edit Rule. Now I'm simply going to change the X to an open circle. Click OK and OK again. And there we go. Now that actually looks a little bit better. Let's do one more example and throw a formula into the mix. Now the way the spreadsheet is set up, if the task is completed, a date is entered. If the task is not completed, the cell is blank. So this is the perfect setup to use the count blank formula. In C2, let's enter the formula equal count blank. And it tells me right here, counts the number of cells, empty cells, in a specified range of cells. Count blank double click on that to open my parentheses and I want to count B2. Enter and it returns 0 because it is not blank. I'm going to go ahead and copy this formula down and notice that it returns a 0 if there is not a blank and a 1 if there is a blank. Now again I want to select the range that I want to apply the conditional formatting to I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting, Icon Sets. This time I'm going to do it just slightly differently. I'm going to go to More Rules down here at the bottom. Automatically up opens up my new formatting rule dialog box. For Icon Sets, I'm going to choose the uncircled check marks. Again, I want to show icons only. Now we have this set up 
just slightly different than the first example. If I go ahead and click on OK, I have an X for if it's completed or a check mark if it's not completed. I want that to be just the opposite. So all I need to do, manage rules, edit rule, and I'm just going to reverse these. I want an X here and a check mark at the bottom. And OK. Now that's exactly what we want. Again, if you want this to be a circle, instead of the X, we can change that icon style. There you go, two simple examples to get you going with conditional formatting icon sets. Now go and create some awesome spreadsheets. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know when I post new videos, make sure that you click on the notification icon. All right, I'll see you in the next video.